What is going on guys? Jeff here, Mad Hatter's Reef. Today we got a brand new video for you. We're doing a top 10, more specifically my top 10 Acroporas that are on my hit list for 2024. And I wanted to try something a little bit different. And we got this here streaming software that we're using to record a video. Uh, this probably would have been best served as a live stream and it's going to be very much like a live stream because if I mess up, it happens. And believe me, I mess up a lot. Uh, so today we're going to be taking a look at my top 10 acros that I am looking to acquire this coming year. And uh, we're going to be uh, we're going to be trying out this little ditty, trying out a little something new. Um, so let's get right into it, shall we? Uh, coming in at number 10, we got the Reef Raft USA Angry Birds Acropora. Now I'm cheating a little bit with this one. Um, I'm actually getting this coral today, the date of this video release. And um, it's coming from a aquarium service provider uh, that is in the great state of Maine. Uh, he's brought this coral in, I believe, at the beginning of the year. And he's doing pretty well with it. Uh, for, so Scott from Sun and Sand is swinging by and um, dropping me off. A good old Angry Birds Acro. Now, the coloration on this thing is jaw-dropping. Um, granted, you know, there's probably, you know, some adjustments that have been made to this photo specifically. Um, but, you know, the, what I've seen for photos of this coral, um, it does have some pretty amazing colors in the polyps. Very nice blue base and definitely a coral that I have been uh, keeping an eye on for a while. Uh, this one specifically is from Top Shelf Aquatics, and I'll be putting links to all of uh, the vendors that I stole shamelessly screenshots from on their website. Uh, so definitely want to make sure that those guys get recognized for that. Um, but coming in at number 10 on the hit list for this coming year's Acroporas uh, that I'm looking to get, we got the Angry Birds Acro. Yeah. All right. Next up, number nine. We got the Jason Fox Yellow Brick Road Acropora. Uh, this one reminds me a lot of a Pikachu, uh, but not quite as yellow. And I like the little blue hints that are in there. A little bit like a, it reminds me of like a Pikachu and a Wolverine kind of mixed together. Uh, this one is actually from Jason Fox uh, Signature Corals. And uh, definitely one that I'm looking to get. The price point on it, not nearly as bad. Um, I, I say bad, nearly as high as what we saw with the Angry Birds, uh, and that's on sale. Let's keep that in mind. That's on sale, um, but you know, a little bit more realistic of a price point, 250 bucks. Um, and I haven't done an order with Jason Fox yet. Um, bumped into him, talked to him a few times at different shows, um, but definitely looking forward to getting. Uh, some of his corals here at the shop. Not that we don't have some already because, you know, how his stuff's pretty much everywhere. Um, but this Acropora has some pretty interesting coloration. I like to see what it can do in my systems. I really like yellow. Yellow is not a very common color for an Acro. Uh, and this is definitely one that has some pretty interesting tones to it. So coming in at number nine, we got the Jason Fox Yellow Brick Road Acro. Next up, number eight. Eight is great, and we got a good old main company, uh, Cultivator Reef. Now, this is one of the few corals that I've actually have had. I've had this lineage uh, before. I don't believe I got it from Greg. I think I got it from Scott. And um, this is the SC Orange Passion Acro. Um, the only thing, like, when you talk about it, you're like, man, it's going to be gonna be an orange acro and there's not a whole lot of orange in it but the coloration that it does have it's pretty amazing it, it looks uh very similar to um some other higher end acros not that this one isn't higher end acro but definitely uh one that i've been looking to get back i've i think i've had it and i think i've sold it that, i think that's how i lost this one not all of the acros that i'm looking to replace that i have um, lost um, came from selling 
I tend to like these acros that are you know being grown uh, in the state of Maine. I tend not to hang on to them. I tend to move them because not only is it uh, supporting me, uh, but it's also supporting these guys that are growing it. And you know, it, I could yeah grab it and start growing it and you know basically cut out the middleman. But that's not really uh, something that I am looking to do as a small business owner. Here in the state of Maine, um, I try to support the guys that are growing corals uh, just as much as the next guy. So, uh, coming in number eight, we got the SC Orange Passion. Looking to get another piece of this. Have had it in the past. Um, I would like to have a mother colony just on hand, just to take a snip here and there. Um, but obviously, uh, a very beautiful acro. A lot of coloration in there. Definitely uh, one that has caught my eye of interest here and uh hopefully we can get get another piece of it all right next up number seven we got this one now i really like this one like a lot the sin city acro i've eyeballed this one for a while i think i saw it somewhere that it had a really like awesome price on it and for whatever reason i didn't get it now you might be asking yourself well jeff number 10 very similar right very similar yes and this one is very bright but whoops there we go all right but number seven i think the subtleness of the colors which this is probably a little bit more realistic of a photo um the sin city acro from top shelf um definitely a fuzzy awesome looking acro um i'm a sucker for a blue acro with colorful polyps i am this one isn't completely blue all the way through it does have some green tones to it um but definitely one that i'm looking to add to the bank and i've eyeballed it for a while and hopefully we can get uh, this guy in here so so far we're looking at doing a uh, cultivated reef order um we're gonna do a top shelf order and a Jason Fox or we got a couple corals in there. We got some more vendors that we're going to talk about. And we'll put links to all these vendors in the description below if you guys want to check them out and see what they got going uh, for acros and other corals. So we're all about the sharing here at Mad Hatter's Reef. All right. So that's number seven. We got the Sin City Acropora coming at number six. Uh, had to throw a little Tidal Gardens Love in here. Uh, this is one that I've had quite a bit. Another main staple. Um, but the coloration that fan is getting out of this coral is insane. Um, it literally is a PC rainbow. Literally. And I think like this photo is obviously, I think this is a what you see, what you get uh, coral on the website uh, currently at the moment anyways. And uh, not a bad price either for what it is. Man, that thing is puddling like it ain't anybody's business. And you're getting just about every color of the rainbow <laughs> uh great coral dan's awesome love tidal gardens gotta gotta throw them some love coming at number six we got the pc rainbow acro all right what's up what's up next number five this one so we just did a video uh, a couple weeks ago where i got some corals from battle corals and this is a acro that i've been like had my eye on for a very long time and it's a shame because i had it in my cart when i did that order and i didn't so i'm gonna have to do another battle corals order unfortunately no nah, i'm just kidding um but this one here the uh bet midler as the ringmaster acro um I'm just blown away by the coloration in this thing. Yellows, you got some blues. I really like the subtleness of the blue and uh, orange polyps. Amazing. Awesome. Um, one thing I like about Battle Corals is they do a pretty good job about showing you uh, the coral under a couple different light schemes and also with different filters. So you get a really realistic expectation of what to get. Um, that order went very well. If you want to check it out, there's going to be a link to that video in the uh, description below uh, where I uh, take a look at some corals uh, from Battle Corals. I did their blue light special box 
And uh, I think we did like the 10 pieces and um, the highest grade that he has in there. Uh, so those corals are still doing great for me. I have two that I did special order on top of, like the frag pack. Um, I got the, uh, what was it, the uh, Rainbow Bright and then another one. Um, but this one was like, like right there. So we're going to have to do another Battle Corals order here uh, in the coming year. And hopefully get a couple other pieces. But this is definitely one that is on the list. And as you can see at the moment or at the time of this recording, this guy is out of stock. I think that might have been why I didn't get it. Not sure. Maybe. All right. Coming to number four. This one. Oh, my Lord. Like, the coloration on this. Uh, this is a Coral Euphoria. Now, if you are unfamiliar with Coral Euphoria, you, and you're watching YouTube videos, you got to go check this stuff out. Um, this channel is awesome. Gabe's put in a tremendous amount of work. Doesn't put out videos all the time, uh, but the amount of work that he puts into his videos uh, is top notch. And if I was going to emulate anybody on YouTube, Gabe would definitely be the guy uh this is the i gotta get in close here because it's real small to me that matt v orange envy acro um i talked with gabe a while back uh because i i was planning on doing an order with him he probably thinks i'm a flake because i i haven't placed the order yet but definitely have uh designs on placing an order with him uh he has some of the most amazing acros um, out there on the interwebs and uh, puts out some amazing content. So definitely go check out his YouTube channel. Go check out his website and uh, support um, if you're looking to add some awesome corals to your reef tank. All right, so coming in number four, we got the Matt V Orange NV. Next up, item number three. Not item, it's a coral. Uh, this is a replacement coral. So I've had this guy before. I had the uh, Worldwide Corals Jello Shot. Um, and this coral had moved around the store quite a bit. Um, it started out in the front. I can't remember how I acquired it. Um, had to have, I'm pretty sure I got it from Worldwide Corals. Um, did okay up front, eventually moved it out back, um, to try to grow it out. And it didn't do so well out back. This, the system that I put it in, and I've, I've talked about this on the podcast, uh, the fiberglass system that we have in the very back. Um, it had a bout with green hair algae that was driving me nuts. And, you know, the, the frustrating thing about that experience is I knew what I needed to do to fix it. And it's just a matter of being spread a little too thin at times and had to, um, you know, go to war with green hair algae. Eventually ended up beating it. And that system's in a lot better place now. But unfortunately, I uh, did lose this coral in the process. Uh, the Worldwide Corals Jello Shot. Uh, so looking to get another one. This is item number three on our top ten. And uh, beautiful coral. Coloration is phenomenal. I never got it to get the blues. But I definitely got some of those pinks and orange that you see there. Um, so looking, looking to add this one back to the collection. Hopefully in this coming year. Alright, we only got two more left. Coming in at number two, this thing is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, Chumming Ham's Reef. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Chumming Ham's Reef, you haven't seen um, any podcasts or stream on YouTube, apparently, ever. Um, he has frequent uh, Reef Dudes uh, live stream quite a few times. This guy, he's a maverick. He, he, has, uh, he does some crazy stuff with his tanks. And um, he's got he got some cojones on him because he's done some things with some corals that I w I would not dare to do, um, frag fragging uh, scolies. Um, I I just don't have it in me. All right, so this thing I was looking through his website and um, this is like one of many because he has a ton of stuff that is absolutely phenomenal. One thing, can we talk about the price on this thing? Look at that photo. Now I'm I'm probably. I'm probably pretty certain that, I mean, the coloration that he's getting out of this, I would have a hard time uh, because he's definitely leaps and bounds um, ahead of me as far as, you know, husbandry goes. 
but the coloration it's just worth a shot and like the price man come on like how does he even have any uh for sale this is the r66 marlin's staff merlin not marlin what's wrong with me <laughs> merlin's staff you guys don't come here for the say things right guy i'm not the say things right guy you guys know that but anyways, um, definitely going to be putting an order in with Chumming Hands Reef. Um, definitely is contingent on whether or not the Merlin staff is available. Uh, but we need some Merlin staff in our life because uh, this coral is phenomenal. Like, I just, it doesn't even look real. It, like, I feel the same way about this coral as I did the first time I saw Walt Disney. Um, the orange, the pink, the blue, the green, like just unreal. Um, but definitely an acro that we need to get our hands on here in uh, 2024 in the coming year. All right. So, number one, what do you think it is? What do you think it is? Number one. Go ahead. Say it out loud. I'm listening. Coming in at the number one spot on our, our, my top 10 acros that I'm looking to acquire in the next year is... The Jason Fox Home Wrecker Acropora, number one spot. Um, this is a coral that I've wanted for a while, um, and I'd like to get it from Jason Fox just to know that you know the lineage is right. Because a lot of people, you know, they slap names on stuff, and I want to make sure that I'm getting it from uh, the guy that brought it in. So, uh, absolutely amazing color. The coloration on this coral is just phenomenal um and there's a lot of different variants out there a lot of like a lot of the ones that you'll see are really heavy in the green obviously you know this is a, like the best example of what this coral can do and when it's very happy and a lot of times when you get acros in it takes them a little while to kind of you know straighten out and kind of color back up um and obviously you know there's differences in chemistry and husbandry and all that stuff um but an acro that I absolutely have drooled over for long enough, need to get it in my life. Uh, the Jason Fox Home Wrecker Acropora. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a little hot tip. Um, I was trying to find this on eBay for a while uh, before I decided that I was actually gonna go to Jason Fox and uh, purchase it. And I was looking on eBay. And I'm going to give you guys a word of caution. Uh, don't be uh, searching the term home wrecker uh, on eBay. And more importantly, don't open up eBay app after uh, in front of a bunch of guys because uh, they're going to question what you're up to. All right. So just that's that's the tip of the week for you. All right, guys, so I want to thank you for joining me today. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you got an Acropora that I should be keeping an eye on, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace out. Take care.